Intrinsically elastic robots, the key to human-like performance. The elastic musculoskeletal system of the human enables remarkable robustness and performance. Based on continuous observation and learning, humans are able to optimize their motion schemes such that the exploitation of the inherent flexible dynamics is maximized. Transferring this knowledge to a robotic system is typically done via kinematic imitation approaches. This well-adopted scheme is, however, suboptimal. Numerous reasons, such as neglecting dynamics and kinematic mismatch, are the cause. In contrast, the combination of a formal task description, an accurate robot dynamics model and a suitable model-based control approach are the rigorous way of optimally solving the given task. At DLR, a new variable stiffness hand arm system was developed. It is equipped with two actuators per joint, allowing simultaneous control of position and stiffness. This system is able to safely interact with humans. Furthermore, the joint compliance protects the robot from getting damaged due to collisions. Controlling such intrinsically compliant robots by explicitly using the elastic elements in the joints allows for highly dynamic motions. This is achieved by temporary storage of potential energy and its time transformation into kinetic energy. Equipping an intrinsically stiff robot with an elastic end effector showcases this effect for a basketball throw. Also, during human dribbling the use of the elastic finger and wrist properties is apparent. This problem can be formulated in terms of hybrid systems theory. One can derive the optimal finger compliance in terms of cycle robustness and power consumption for blind dribbling with force feedback in the wrist only. Based on this principal analysis of elastic end effectors, we design an optimal motion framework for fully elastic robots, generating optimal motions under the premise of the complex elastic dynamics an optimal control problem has to be solved offline for a given task. In order to generate optimal motions in real time, we solve the respective prototypical optimal control problem multiple times offline. Then, the optimal trajectories are learned by a dynamical system and can then be generalized in real time to a new goal state with a cost metric based distance measure. This framework can for example be used to execute explosive motions such as throwing a ball. In the following experiment, the task is to throw a ball into a bin. The bin is tracked by a camera system and the dynamically optimal motions are generated in real time. As can be observed from this dynamic simulation, very human-like motion can be executed. Finally, we also believe that the understanding of the dynamics and control of intrinsically elastic robots will give us the insights into the mechanisms of human motion.